a tiny little guy. This is a snapper. Cute little snapper. Normally you wouldn't want to touch these guys, but here you go, buddy. That'll make you happy, I'm sure. happened to everyone so I just stopped by my folks and uh, happened to see they got a bunch of staghorn growing along the side of their driveway and I was gonna harvest some sumac berries and show you how I uh, do my sumac tea uh, it's one of my favorite summertime beverages drinks it's like lemonade um, I don't sweeten it I like just the flavor of the sumac berries so it's longhorn sumac staghorn sumac so uh, boom a big patch of it right there, big beautiful red berry clusters. And uh, I'm going to show you what I do. And you do not want to pick these along the side of the road or parking lots, heavy road traffic with pollution. You want to get them as far as you can out in the middle of nowhere. You know. And that's how I harvest the uh, sumac horn, berry horns. Um, super easy. Just fill up a bag, cut them off. You don't want to overpick. Uh, well, I personally don't want to overpick. I want to be able to come back to the area. And as you can tell, this is a really plentiful patch right here. Exactly what you want to look for. Big bright red clusters. Um, August, August, September, it's a really good time of the season to, to harvest. But, I mean, any time of the year you see these berries, they're going to be good. You don't want to get them right after it rains. It washes off a lot of the flavor and that, that tinge you're going to get. But, um, yeah, after a few good dry days, you can feel them. They're really sticky. That's a good time for harvest. And uh, you har harvest them any time of the year, just like a rose hip. You see it and it's still sitting there on the plant, it's edible, it's savable. So happy picking, stay safe. Make sure you know what you're doing. Take some re reading resources. Don't just go out and pick wild plants and think you could eat them. All right, so here we are. Got our sumac. Sumac berries. Big beautiful clusters, nice bright color. You don't want to damage or destroy the plant. It's not even really good to mash it. You just want the water to soak. So I'm just kind of pulling, you can see that, just lightly fluffing off the outside of this. I think it gives a better, a better soak and a better saturation, which is what you want. And this doesn't take long. You leave it in your fridge for two two hours, depending on your flavor. Two hours is a good time for me. 
I think it's about maximum and maximum strength at a two hour soak. And I use warm water at first, pour in the warm water, put it in the refrigerator. So I'm just trying to pull off all that light fluffy stuff. And there's no real exact formula. It's like I was saying, there is no exact formula to this. It's just by flavor or by taste. Um, so what I like to do, I'll fill the bottom of the pan. And every one of these little berries has a seed. It's a seed pod, basically. So you can actually take it and remove the seed from the outside, or remove the pods from the outside of the seed. And you'll get your the fine hairs if you want to use the, the sumac berry for something different. <clears throat> okay, so we'll do one more. All right. So that's basically it. Just fill the bottom of the pan. Now I like to use spring water, well water, not municipal or city water for flavor, of course. Um, it's just my preference. I really don't like the, the taste city water, municipal water. So that's about three, three quarters to half a gallon. And again, you don't want to mash it, so I'm just kind of stirring this in there. And that is it. That's all you need to do. And let it sit. Let it soak for about two hours. And then uh, we'll strain it out, and I'll show you how to strain it. And I like to keep Keep these. I could store them for a whole week, as many uh, times as you want to make the tea. It's fine. Just seal it up in the bag, and it doesn't go bad. So that'll be for the next batch of tea. All right. So here we are. We've got this sumac tea. It's been soaking for two hours. Took it out of the fridge. This is something that I love using. It's called a muslin muslin cotton bag, free of bleach. And uh, totally natural. You can use it for a lot of things. I use it as a filter for a strain. This is all I do. Pour it in there. That beautiful pink color. Strain it out a little. That's what it looks like. Nice, beautiful pink strawberry tea color. And there is all of the sumac berries. I've heard you could reuse them again. I don't personally. There you go. There is a nice pink glass. Sumac tea. My favorite. So that's real quick, just how I harvest um, some big sumac berry horns. <laughs> that's stupid.